Well, it's Tuesday and we're back in the toy collector's attic. Yes. Screwing around. Again. <laughs> I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas mm -hmm. from someone. <laughs> Sandy Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus brought me something yes. from my childhood. Yeah, he was talking about it and I was listening. And I wanted to get all four mm -hmm. models. I was only able to get like two or three of them. I don't even remember. And then they vanished really quick. Try to get all four today. Yeah, it's a It's, it's a almost impossible. These are re-releases. Still has the mm -hmm. Christmas bow on it. Yes. These were originally out by Hawk models yes. and try to find those Hawk models. You can't. You just can't. And when you do, Oof. these were, I believe, 49 cents. Yes. And uh, these days multiply that by a considerable amount, like turn cents into dollars. And yes. you're pretty close if you can find if one. If you can find them, they're expensive. They're expensive. And this is a reproduction. Zero. And even these don't come cheap. What are these? Uh, I don't even dare tell you. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to know. Mm. And it's inappropriate to ask the well, price of a gift. Well, it was mucho. We'll put it that way. It's a lot of yeah, money, even, for the, even for the reproductions. Yeah. And there was a, an original Hawk release, and then there was a Tester's release, and now there's the reproduction mm -hmm. Tester's right. release. But these were little Salt Flats racing cars, and um, this is Dynamo. <laughs> and... Uh, the thing about these is they're not the slightest bit detailed. Now, no. I was very into Salt Flats racers because Ethel Graham was there in the neighborhood. Oh, if you lived in Utah, you knew Salt Flat racers. You, you had to know yes. that, but our, our neighbor, our mechanic, was building a Salt Flat racer, so duh, mm -hmm. I was totally into it. Right. These, uh, while they're sort of a plastic model, they're also sort of a wind-up toy. Mm -hmm. There's a rubber band in there, and you just turn the little crank, and then you let it go, and zink, it goes scooting down the, right. you know, and there's no, no detail no inside <laughs> it, no batteries, no nothing. It's a rubber just band play. powered yeah. car uh, for that kind of money. Right. Uh, and not a lot of detail. What they are is cool. They are. They're, They're fun. just flat fun, mm -hmm. and they have these goofy names, and they've kept the names. This is <laughs> Dyna Mo. This is Turbo Go. <laughs> this one is uh, Bonnie Buggy. Bonnie Buggy. That's the girl one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this is my favorite, Alki Seltzer. Alki Seltzer, mine and that too. Was, that was the first one I got yeah. was Alki Seltzer. But I also felt like it was the, the cooler of the models. Yeah. Because it actually has a little more window detail and, right. and a little more cockpit detail. There's no engines here. There's none of that kind of detail. There's some tailpipes and a little bit of cockpit detail mm -hmm. and a crank sticking out of the back that winds up the rubber band. <laughs> and use your imagination after that. So I'm trying to decide if I want to build these where they're so basic or if I just want to keep them like this. But the joy in that is just... You've got them now. I've got them. All four. So one way or the other, here <laughs> yes. they are. They only ever made the four, and these are exact reproductions off the exact same mold. Yes. Box art is different, of course. A little bit. Uh, that's kind of a tradition when you're reproducing a model. Don't reproduce the original box art, otherwise it's sort of like fraud. That you're, yes. Somebody might go on the line and try to sell those as, as originals, originals, and given the cost of originals, uh, someone would do that, right. rest assured. Right. So. Uh, when they re-release them, they always change up the change box up art a, a little bit. These are the original drawings mm -hmm. uh, that came on the box right. art. And then, of course, the very, very original release was Hawk. Right. And then Testers uh, took that over. I don't yes. know how And I can't happened. tell you many sites I was on trying to find all four. You could get one, you could yeah. get two, but not all four. Not all four. Yeah, I was up all night. And back then, I was buying them at Grand Central. Oh. And uh, you'd go over there, and 49 cents, sure. I, I could put together the 49 cents. That mm -hmm. wasn't too much of a problem. Problem getting the model. Mm -hmm. Whenever I saw one over at Grand Central, I mm -hmm. would grab one. But uh, Alki Seltzer, that was the first that's one the, that I got a hold one. of. And just holding <laughs> these, it's like, yeah, wow, got that was four. so cool. <laughs> I'm guessing that that was somewhere around 1960. Oh, yeah. Maybe even earlier. I'm not quite sure wow. just when. Because the 49 cent models were kind of a, a time period. They are, yeah. Pretty soon Basic. people wanted a much more elaborate model and they wanted engines, they wanted detail. They did not want a, a wind up. No, no. Nope. So, anyway, there they are, totally yep. cool. <laughs> well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And while you're over there, subscribe to the channel. And that can be done by clicking on the blue button. You ready? Zoink! Right there, blue button that says subscribe. 
that'll take you to the channel and make you a subscriber unless of course your device doesn't support it in which case there's a big blank space right there but you can still go over to the channel and subscribe well we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet we hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here again on sunday with the regular show yes see you then <laughs> bye bye, bye.